everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video. Hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with another video, which was the um, snow command. Now, um, today we are back with another cafe series video. And this one, as you can tell by the title, will be the cafe mop and spill system. Now, it's going to be a really short video. I mean, I'll try and make it short. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Now, I have heard there have been a little few errors for some people. Um, I'm trying to fix some. Uh, mainly the uh, give to player. I'm going to be fixing that. It seems to not be working for some reason, even though it did. And then it just stopped working. Um, but I'm going to be fixing that. And then also the registers. I don't know if someone said they're a problem. But... Uh, just make sure you check your output because that's going to be a main thing to fix this all. But rather than that, guys, uh, feel free to stay tuned to this video. Now, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. And that will be perfect. And as you guys can tell, this is Christmas. So happy holidays, you guys. Um, I hope this will be a good Christmas for us. And I will do some live streams soon. Also, join the Discord. is in the description. And I do do giveaways there. And I also do... Um, suggestions that people give to me now of course as you guys can tell it's like three little pads and that's about it and you're probably just a little confused but um we're gonna get right into this so i'm actually gonna hit play here and we're actually gonna look straight at this cafe mop system okay so basically um it's pretty simple you guys so when you spawn in you're gonna get a mop and of course it's gonna look like this just a classic cafe mop and um as you guys can tell down here, we have a few things coming out of the output, and we do have these spawning right here. So basically, these are the cafe spills. They are gonna look like these. They're gonna have these different brick colors, and they're gonna be spawning on these parts. Now, they may spawn a little bit off, but they're gonna be spawning only in these areas. And as you can tell on output, it's showing what's spawning. Now, there's so many in right now because I turned the time to be really uh, fast, but when you hop, hop over to it, um, it's gonna check if it's touching it. So if you're touching it, so let's say the mop is touching it, then it's going to basically make it smaller. Now, as you can tell, it is only if the mop is touching it. So like right there ends right there. Um, and there's different sizes, of course. Now, let's say we go down here and you see how there's toes so tiny. Let's say that you actually fully clean them up. What it's gonna do is it's gonna destroy the part and it's gonna put an output clean spill and it's gonna give you a point. So you can take a look at the points. So let's look at this da, 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 and points. It's going to give you a point. So the reason for this is so people in the game can also just basically mop with the floor. And this can go for anyone like baristas or can go for basically people that are normal to the game. Now, I really recommend, depending on how you want to do this, um, you can make this mop free to everyone and give points to everyone or this can be just for the trainee. So give me one second here, guys. Let's get right into this. Sorry about that. We had a little thing. Um, so basically what I was trying to say is just uh, you really can either make this for only cafe workers or you can actually make this for normal people to get points. Now, of course, it makes more sense for cafe workers. And, you know, another thing you could do is you could like do another rank and make like a cafe like uh, a janitor or something. Give, uh, give them special tools and all that stuff. And you could do something like this. But yeah, so I hope you do kind of like this, and um, it you can't drop it, but of course, this is what it looks like, and let's show you what it's all about. Um, basically, what I added is a few things with the cafe thing, so um, you're going to go service group service, replicate storage, and workspace. So we're going to get the mop out of the way. So I put this in replicated storage just because that's another place to put it. I thought I'd not put it in server storage because there's so much already. Um, but it's just a simple mop. You can change it how you like. This is just a welding thing to make sure um, all of them are welded. And that's about it. So you don't need to worry about that. Then, of course, we have spill zones, spill data. So these are two, three folders here. So these are the spill zones. Anything that you create, any of these zones you create are basically where it's going to be going into. So I'm going to make this just bigger. So this is going to be another spill zone. Uh, I'll delete this one. Now, it doesn't matter how many you have. And then what you want to do, make sure to do, is when you are finished putting all these spill zones around, make sure the transparency is set to 1 so they don't see it because you don't want them to see it. So basically, that's what I'm going to do. So once we do that, we're all good. Um, I'll just move this for you guys. And of course, in these spill zones... Um, they're gonna be spelling there. Sorry, I said that. <laughs> um, so we don't need to worry about that. Keep this here in workspace. And then we have spill data and global spills. So spill data basically is um, what we're gonna be checking inside for all of the global spills. Basically all of the spills that are gonna be out for everyone to see. So like um, the spills that are on the floor basically. That's where we're gonna be storing the spills. 
So we need to close that too. Now, if you are wanting to just put this into your game yourself, make sure to just go back and look at what I was looking at. So we have spill data, spill zones, workspace, and then mop in replicated storage. And then in server script service, we have spill system, which is that, that is just it. That's all you need. And you put them in your sink and it's set up. So we have the scripts here. So I'm gonna open all these up and there we go. And you can already notice. So we have a folder called spill system with the mop giver, this main spill script. The sample spill, which you can also customize yourself. I won't show you how, but just put it in work. Oh, well, I guess maybe I'll just put it in workspace, you guys. And then you can basically just uh, customize it how you like and then put it back where it needs to be. And of course, there we go. Open it up and then we have the name script. So the mop group script, super easy to understand. Put your group ID right here and put the rank of the number that you want um, above for them to access the thing. So basically, as in I say, um, the person who is above that rank gets to get the mop. Um, so if you don't know how to do that, kind of check out the last few videos. It's pretty easy. Um, group ID, super easy. It's just a link. So that's good. Don't need to worry about that. What we're doing is when the player joins the game, we're creating a local variable called player. Then we're checking that player if their character gets added. And then we are going to basically check if they are in the group. If they are in the group and they are above that rank or equal to it, then we're going to make a new local variable called new mop and we're going to clone the mop in replicated storage. So right here, clone it as in creating another one, duplicating, and then setting the parent to the player backpack. So that's it. Um, so super simple on that. Then we have the main script, which is a little bit different. And then we have the other script, which is the touching part. So for the main script, basically we have a few things. We have the, de the Debris service, the player service, spill zones, spill data, global spill, sample spill, and then the configurable locals. So all you need to touch all you can touch is these threes right here. So I wouldn't recommend touching current spills because you don't really need to. It's always should be set on zero, which makes more sense because you start the game off with zero. And then the spill speed rate is basically what we're talking about. We're talking about how many spills are gonna be put on the floor in a matter of seconds. And these will just keep stacking up until the max spills. So this is the max spill. So feel free to change this to whatever max spill that you want. So if you want less than 10,000, 10, sorry, 10 spills on a thing zone, then that's how much is going to be on that one zone. You can change this to any number. Like I said, spill seeds rate, just make sure to check the seconds, like how long it'll take for each uh, spill will happen. I recommend keeping it pretty high in number because you don't want it to happen so much. Um, then we have a local function called choose random color, which is going to be brick dot color. I mean, brick color dot random. So basically choosing a random brick color. Then we get random position, which is being the X, Z. I, I didn't actually make this myself right here. Um, it's basically just grabbing the part size and we're putting it in a certain place. So basically anywhere in the spill zones, we're going to be putting it somewhere. Um, so that's going to be random position. Then we have the make spill function, which is going to be creating a new local variable called random spawn zone, which we're going to check in the spills, spill zones. So any of the spill zones, then we're creating a math random. Then we're going to check the current spills and then we're going to add to that number. So we're going to go and print it out. And then a new spill equals sample spill. So as in saying the sample spill we have and clone it, we're setting this uh, new spill name to spill one or whatever of the current spill. So basically one, two, three, four, five. And then we're also going to be doing the brick color, which is choosing a random color because we want the spills to be different colors. Then we're grabbing the C frame, putting it into our random zo uh, spawn zone and position. Then we're grabbing the orientation, setting the ve vector three to uh, 90. So this is basically um, how big it will be. You can change this how you like. Um, then we have the spill new spill dot parent equals global spills. So basically it will be in this folder right here and then you're good. And then of course we have the actual creating the spill. So we're going to wait for that spill speed rate. If it happens, then we're going to print the children of the global spills. Then we're basically going to um, get the children. If it's more than the max spills, I mean less than the max spills, then we're going to make the spill. But if it is more than this max spills, then we're not going to make a spill. So that's basically what we're doing. Sorry, it's a lot of spills, you know. <laughs> um, so then we have the main touch thing, which is also pretty easy. So we have between service, tipper service, player service, and then we have the spill part and lock. This is basically a debounce. So when they touch the spill part, we're going to check if they have a mop and it is a tool. So if they have that mop, then we're going to move into the if statement. We're going to check. We're going to do the size and we're going to make the size um, and we're going to minus it from a new vector. So we're going to make it smaller. Um, then we're going to wait. We're gonna grab the player object as is saying we're grabbing the player. If the spill start size, spill part size is about this big, so it's like half of the size, then if the player dot object and not lock, then we're gonna lock it. And debris, we're gonna add the item, which is gonna be a spill part, which is gonna be that. 
Then, this is where we add the point. So if the spill part dot size equals this, which is basically the smallest size we can get, then we're gonna destroy that spill part. So we're just gonna get rid of it. We're gonna add to the player's points and we're gonna say clean spill. So that's about it, you guys. Um, I don't know how much I can explain really rather than that. It's nothing too crazy. I'll make sure to publish this for you guys. Um, just make sure to just make sure to have everything in the right place and you're all good. I will be fixing the gift player like I said, you guys. I am re-uploading the music system because it seems that it did work. Um, so that's good. I'll make sure to double check what's going on with other bugs. But just make sure to check output because this is the main thing in source to you every game. And you will learn from it and you will know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to comment, subscribe, like, and share. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.